Welcome to Ask Education Channel. In the video, we will learn Standard Computer Science English Medium Book Lerka, Chapter 13 Introduction to Object Oriented Programming Techniques. In the chapter, we will evaluation care questions and answers. First section A can answer patala. first question. The term is used to describe a programming approach based on classes and objects is So class and objects nale the oops da. Sayingla O O P. Okay. Add the second one. The paradigm which aims more at procedures So procedures which is the procedural programming da. Okay. Add the third one. Which of the following is a user defined data type abdin kater kanga? So you could think answers le patina class the user defined data type. Fourth one, the identifiable entity with some characteristics and behavior is what abdin kater kanga. So object on the entity. Fifth one, the mechanism by which the data and functions are bound together into a single unit is known as encapsulation. Add the sixth one, insulation of the data from direct access by the program is called as data hiding. And uh, seventh one, which of the following concept encapsulate all the essential uh, properties of the object that are to be created. I mean, so abstraction and the, the essential properties are to be hide. And the eighth one, which of the following is the most important advantage of inheritance of the So code reusability is the important advantage. Ninth one, write once and use it multiple times can be achieved by reusability. And uh, tenth one, which of the following suppose transitive nature of data of the So transitive nature is the inheritance of the transitive nature. Section B kind of first answer pathalam. How is modular programming different from procedural programming paradigm? So differentiate panni na meridanom. So one paka mande procedural programming kotega, ino one paka mande modular programming kotega. So first difference pating na procedural programming aims more at um, procedures. This is the first point. This is the second point. Programs are organized in the form of subroutines or subprograms. Abhi the second point aidi konga. And this is example mande Fortran and Cobol. In our the modular programming heading for the difference in and patina modular programming one it emphasis on algorithm rather than data. And second point patina programs are divided into individual modules and either can example patina Pascal and C. At the second question, differentiate classes and objects. So lesson or the back uh, points to remember lay in the answer irukka. So class is a user defined data type. Class represents a group of similar objects. Objects are basic unit of O. It represent data and associated function together into a single unit. So this is the only difference. Arthur, what is polymorphism? So this is points to remember lay in the answer. Polymorphism is the ability of a message or function to be displayed in more than one form. At the fourth one, how is encapsulation and abstraction are interrelated? So, points to remember in the Kelvin can answer. First, encapsulation the mechanism by which the data and functions are bound together into a single unit is known as encapsulation. In the encapsulation, the abstraction is implemented. And abstraction it refers to the showing only the essential features without revealing background details. So, this is the answer in the Kelvikana answer. Fifth one, write the disadvantages of who? So, page number 230 in the answer is so, the disadvantage is size, effort, and speed. Size is it will be much larger than other programs. Effort is it needs a lot of work to create. And speed is size it will be slower compared to other programs. This is the oops or disadvantage. Adhati section C kana first keli patalam. What is paradigm? Mention the different types of paradigm. So again points to remember lend in answer idea. Paradigm means organizing principle of a program. It is an approach to programming. So it is a paradigm kana explanation idea. And the types kater kangle so motha moon type erka. Procedural programming, modular programming, object oriented programming paradigm. So it is a moon the types. Add the second question, write a note on the features of procedural programming. So page number 228 in the Kelvikan answer is okay, important features of procedural programming. So write up 4 point. Then 4 point is the example on the edit. 
At the third question, list some of the features of modular programming. Page number 229 in the click answer. Erikku. Important features of modular programming are important. You will have 4 points. That is the example. Fourth one, what do you mean by modularization and software reuse? Uh, page 229 in the answer. Erikku. Modularization na enna abdi na or program ma kuti kuti modules so split panter down the modularization and software reuse pati na irka uh, program ma thirma thirma number use panter the da peru ande software reuse so it rende da ande the kelly ka na answer. Arthur section C le last question define information ID. Uh, page number two thirty le ande kelly ka na answer erka. So encapsulation is the most striking feature of a class. In the data pathina only it is not accessible by the outside world and then the data we uh, access panamudina and the class cooler in the functions mulu mada on the access panamudu. So this encapsulation of data from direct access by the program is called as data hiding or information hiding. Under the section D can answer pathalam, write the differences between object oriented programming and procedural programming. Uh, so, procedural programming is the three mark of page number 228. Important features of procedural programming are point and then all point uh, along with this example. That is the object oriented programming. That is the features. Uh, so, for example, in the uh, orange point, the orange point along with this example, the answer. Okay, wow. so one of object oriented programming is in the point shared the other example is in one of the procedural programming is the other one important features along with the example is in the second question what are the advantages of OOPS? Um, page number 230 in the can answer erka. so advantages of OOPS have been solid in all point in the knowledge of the other one is explanation of the other so code is reusable and redundancy is maintained for the other one is used for the other one and um, easy is maintained for the other one and security is used for the high level so these are the advantages of OOPS at the last question, write a note on the basic concepts that supports OOP. So, page 229, we will answer this in the KLV. The object oriented programming approach mainly encourages modularization and software reuse. So, we will the main features of the heading. The main features of the main features of the main Data abstraction, encapsulation, modularity, inheritance, and polymorphism. So, this is the encapsulation of the main features of the main features the data abstraction is not been So, if you have two marks, you can update the definition of the data. So, the inheritance is not the definition of the polymorphism is not the definition of the and modularity is not the definition of the data. So, we have the topic. We the topic. We have two marks. So, we have a very good chapter. Important definitions. So, the chapter is equally important. I will give you the answer. If you have doubts, comment section. Thank you for watching this video.